Davey Height. One of the, first, let me just say, I couldn't be more happy that you're with those guys <laughs> to do. I don't even know what, the the commentary. Yeah. You've you've I liked them before. You've really helped them step it up a notch. Well, I appreciate that. I mean, and I absolutely enjoy working with uh, Tommy Sanders and Mark Zona, Ronnie Moore, and Such, and I, I really do. They're a great group to work with. Uh, you know, they they are all more talented than I am. I just got lots of uh, uh, history of uh, uh, catching a few fish every once in a while and, and not catching them a whole lot of times. Uh, so I've got that just for being out on the tournament trail full time for 23 years. But but I couldn't, there's not a better group in fishing to work with than those guys. I agree with you. Been an absolutely crazy off season. Yeah. You guys come to Platka. First event of the year. Yeah. Could you be could it have been any better than the crowd, yeah. Rick Clun winning, right. and almost at that hundred, that hundred pounds? Yeah, I, no, it couldn't have. It couldn't have. A lot of eyes uh, on bass right now. There's, yes. There's, you know, for different reasons. There's always been a lot of eyes on bass. People in the sport, you know, and BASS being the, the founder of our of our sport and Race God and Helen Spear and all those folks. But um, just incredible. I mean, the Bass Gods shined on BASS this week, and uh, with Rick Clun winning, uh, with so many big fish, giant fish, and with Palaka, and, and the, you know, people outside of Palaka you know, in the state of Florida and other places came and showed their loyalty to to an organization and to the fish. And, yeah. and it was you couldn't ask for a better group of, of top ten. You had a you know a Patrick Walters that is 23, 24 years old has excelled at every level through the high school, college, and in the opens, um, and then a Rick Clun winning. And, and you had you, know, you had a good mix of veterans and, and young stars. And, and, you know, the Canadian brothers, yes. uh, the, the Johnstons, absolutely put on a show this week. Yesterday was insane yeah. what they were doing. And uh, I just talked to, to Chris Johnson quite a bit before we weighed in, and, and uh, he said it's been a dream of his to get to the Bassmaster Elites uh, since he was a child. So... Uh, it's pretty cool and to get there in the very first turn, but you, you almost win third. the thing. So, <laughs> yeah, you so absolutely incredible week for for our sport um, and and for a, a lot of new faces. Yeah, the new faces that are now coming up. It's something we all need to learn, and there's nothing wrong with that. Change is not bad. That's right. That's right. But the amount of people that showed up today in Palatka, yeah. I mean. That was yeah. unbelievable. I, I, I'll be totally honest with you. And I, I've only told like my wife this. I, I, and Dave Mercer yesterday when I when I pulled in because I was out on the water down on Lake George, actually Dexter and, and George. Uh, and I got here like ten or fifteen minutes before the weigh-in started. I teared up. It's when I saw when I saw the crowd and how passionate and how they showed up and showed out. It just you know it's it, it meant a lot to me right here. Just, yeah, just incredible. It's I know it's been a very crazy off season for everybody yep. everybody wants more information but honestly what the people that are out there and all that you ought to be really proud yep. of what you guys put out on the out there it was a fantastic week and i love that you're with it we had ronnie moore on the show yet yeah, on the radio right. yesterday that's great well i you know the fishermen are the stars I, i've always thought that um not when i was just a fisherman thinking i was a star but but before i became a full-time professional fisherman and now after while i'm doing this the fishermen are the stars but, but Bass provides an incredible platform for them, and they've really stepped up this year, doing even more and more for these guys, paying all the way down the field. Yeah. And, you know, just, but, but let's, you know, there again, hats off to the fishermen, but, but I do work with a great group of people that, that do their best to help those fishermen excel and have that platform to, to, to pursue their dreams and yeah. be a full-time professional fisherman and, and be able to make a good living. It's tough to be a professional fisherman. It is. It's, a, it's tough to be a professional in anything. Yeah. That's why it's a... It's a profession. I mean, it's it's not just a job. You know, being a, uh, you know, there are jobs and there are professions. And professional fishermen, it's not supposed to be easy. It takes a lot of a lot of work and dedication and education about what you're doing to be a professional at anything. You know, you look, it's not easy being an NFL. Yeah. You know, a National Football League professional, NBA, Major League Bay, I mean, you just name it, hockey, any sport. If you're at the highest level, it's not easy. Yeah. And, and there's going to be some guys that, that excel a little more than some other guys. It's just that's the way it is in any and every sport. But but we're hoping that 
that uh, to give everyone a chance to make a living in any sport. There's gonna be some, you know, you're gonna have a Tom Brady making, you know, whatever. Yeah. Twenty million, thirty million, fifty million. I don't know. I have no idea, but it's a lot. Yeah. And then you got guys on that same team don't make quite as much, but they make a good living, and that's certainly what we hope professional bass fishing is doing. You have the best team in 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 fishing. So congratulations. Thank it's you. you can go to Twitter Davy dot I think it is. Davy Height dot com. Yes. Yeah. Thank you very much. Continue you the best work. That's D A V Y, not E Y. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, dude. You bet. Nice pleasure. to see you again. My pleasure.